What is up guys? Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel. I have not posted on this channel in a very long time. I have been active on my vlog channel, which is linked down below, but as far as this channel goes, I kind of have just not done anything <laughs> here. So yeah, but this year I'm going to change that starting with this video which is my 2024 goals and how i plan to achieve them so i have a little list on my phone and i want to take you guys through a few of the different goals that i'm setting and kind of my plan for how i'm actually going to meet these goals hopefully okay easier said than done but having a plan saying it out loud posting this video hopefully will help me actually maintain some of them are maintaining things and then others are like actual new goals that i want to do so yeah let's get into it Alrighty, my first goal is my travel goal and that is four new countries and two new states so last year i only did I think one new country and one new state. So I really wanna amp that up a little bit. I do have plans to visit one new state this June. So that is in the planning process right now. I have the hotels and everything booked for that, but I still need to get flights and whatnot, but that is definitely happening in June. So I will definitely have at least one new state, but as far as the other state goes and then all of the countries i don't really have any plans yet i am actually that's not completely true i am thinking about a few things and trying to get it situated but i don't have anything set in stone for any of that so yeah but travel is very important to me i love going to new places experiencing new cultures and just seeing the world so that is definitely my biggest goal this year is four new countries two new states so yeah, if I can get more than that, great. If I get less, oh well, but I definitely want to aim for that. My second goal is I really want to learn how to ice skate. I have only gone maybe like twice and I was like way younger, so I don't really count that, but I really want to sign up for lessons, learn how to skate, maybe, you know, do a few different I don't even know what you call it, jump, spins, something like that. I think that'd be really cool. And I also realized that I haven't really done or learned anything new lately. So I think ice skating would be something fun, something different, keep my mind going, you know, and just a fun activity, especially in the winter time when like today it's raining all day. And I do have a few hobbies I can do indoors, but adding another indoor hobby is definitely not gonna hurt so yeah ice skating is one of my biggest goals and I, okay i completely forgot about how i'm gonna plan to achieve these goals for the travel one i am planning that one in june and then for the countries i'm looking at a few cruises to you know hit a few different countries at once also i have to focus on you know saving money for that and getting time off from work which getting time off isn't knock on wood isn't too hard for me right now i do have a lot of hours that i saved this or last year technically for this year that rolled over so i do have plenty of time off if i'm able to use that at a certain time you know that's never really up to me but having that is definitely you know i need to have the hours to be able to use them so i do have plenty of hours for that how i plan to ice skate and learn how to ice skate i found an ice skating rink here in richmond and honestly the first step is just going online and paying for the classes if i pay for something i'm definitely going to do it because i do not waste my money so that is really the first step i still need to do that i think i'm going to do that actually you know what i'm just going to do it today i was going to say tomorrow but tomorrow never happens you know it's always today it's always right now so i need to do that right now today so i'm gonna add that to my to-do list once i'm finished editing this video number one travel number two ice skate and let's move on to number three which is a half marathon okay so this is the trip that i am planning in june to this new state i'm going to be running a half marathon in a national park to a state i have never been to before and i am super excited 
like I said, I already have that kind of going for me. So my my mom and I are actually doing it together. So we already kind of have that plan set. We still have to figure out the flights and the rental car and a few other little things, but we do have the hotel. So we are not completely starting from zero. We have something going for us. So yeah, I'm just gonna be figuring out the next few things for that in probably the next month-ish and kind of get that all situated. It is like six months away, but planning this, you know, I'd rather have it planned earlier on so I know everything's ready to go and that way it's a lot easier when I get there. Training is going to be tough. The farthest I have ever run without stopping is the 8K that I did like two months ago here in Richmond, which is only five miles. Half marathon is you know, 13.1 miles. So that's basically like two and a half ish, eight Ks, five, 10, 12 and a half. Yeah, a little over two and a half of what I have ran before. So that's definitely gonna be tough, especially now that it's the winter time and I also work full time. So the days are shorter, it's darker, it's colder, you know, all of these things. And I can run on a treadmill, but I feel like when I start getting up to, you know, seven miles, eight miles, I'm just not gonna wanna do that on a treadmill. So I'm definitely gonna have to figure that out around my work schedule, maybe run my long runs on the weekend when I have more daylight. All right, my fourth goal is to get promoted at my nine to five job. I've been working very hard the last few months to prove that I can do the next level up. So when it comes time for promotion, which we are in the promotion area, time, whatever you call it right now. So that should be finalized, I think, early March or end of February. Oh my God, my legs are hurting. All right, I'm gonna switch it up. Angle this down a little bit. I have you guys propped up on my new TV that I got for Christmas that I still have not uh, put together. It's been here for like a week and a half, but that's all my to-do list for today. All right, that's another goal I have is to set up this <laughs> TV. My next goal is to fly my drone more. I have a drone and I bought it, I think in like 2020. And when I first got it, I used it a lot because I was super excited, you know, it was a lot of fun. And then summer of 2020, I worked as a drone pilot on a cross country road trip. So I was flying that thing multiple times a day. After that, kind of took a little break because it was a lot. And then kind of just have been flying it here and there. I haven't really flown it a lot recently. It doesn't help that it's winter. I feel like I fly it more in the summertime when things look prettier, but this year I really wanna fly it more, learn more about drones and maybe like authorization because I only really fly in recommended zones right now. I don't know too much about how to get authorized to fly in different parts, nor do I really need to know right now. I'm not flying commercially right now, so it would kind of just be for fun, but definitely something that I want to incorporate more in my life and also more in my videos plan for that i don't really have one i guess just keep it in the back of my mind and you know if i'm going somewhere for a weekend maybe just bring it along and try to use it next goal is rock climbing once a week which i think this is my easiest goal because i have already been doing this i got a rock climbing membership with my friend rebecca we have a dual membership and basically, like I said before, if I'm spending money on something, I'm gonna use it. So I have been going to the Rockwall Gym a lot recently. It has been so much fun just going once a week. Sometimes I even go twice a week. So I think this goal is the easiest one on here and I don't really need a plan because I'm already doing it. So that's good. My next goal is to learn guitar. I grew up playing piano and viola and Technically I played percussion in like middle school, but I don't really count that. I know how to read music, but guitar, I don't really know how to play at all. I know like five chords. I can play wagon wheel and like that's it, but I really want to learn more about how to read guitar music, play a little bit better because I always like, you know, hit multiple strings when I'm only supposed to be hitting one string with my fingers and just being able to like, whip out my guitar at like a campfire and like play a song and sing you know i think that'd be really cool so yeah my plan for that is one of my friends 
actually plays guitar and got a degree in something music and is basically like really good so he said that he's gonna teach me how to play guitar so hopefully uh he doesn't back out <laughs> But that is my plan for that. Next one is I want to cook and bake more because I really, I cook every so often. I do not bake like at all. I do have some ingredients in my pantry right now for a few things I want to make. So that's kind of like my first step is actually buying the ingredients so I can make the food. But yeah. That's just something that I've been wanting to do because, you know, on a day like this when it's gross outside, it's kind of fun just to bake something and then have a, a nice little thing to eat at the end. Next up is I want to get more income streams. Why did that sound weird? Income. Yeah, income. Okay. I don't know why that sounded weird to me. I want to get more income streams, preferably passive income. I have been thinking about different things I can do. I have my nine to five, my full-time job. That's really my only source of revenue other than like giving interest on like my savings account and like stuff like that, like bank stuff. But I really want to maybe look into stocks or look into maybe some digital products that I can sell online or just anything like that, just something passive. Even if it's not passive, maybe if I, you know, dog sit every once in a while or babysit, I don't really know any families here to babysit for, but just something like that. I want to earn more passively, preferably, but just kind of have more money coming in so I can put that into savings so I can, you know, use that towards ice skating or my travels or like emergency fund you know all of that fun stuff so yeah that is something that i'm planning to do i have been watching a few videos and looking up kind of different ideas for that and i'm gonna start trying a few of them hopefully soon i don't know i don't have like a great plan for that one it's kind of just looking up different ways that I could possibly make money and like kind of going from there. All right, next is I want to thrift more and revamp my Poshmark, which kind of goes into the income stream thing. I um, have a Poshmark. I go through phases with that. I used to go thrifting all the time back before I had a nine to five. I was kind of working like part time and then I would thrift the other half of the time and like sell stuff on Poshmark. But now that I'm working full time, I don't do that very often. I did go thrifting last night, which was really fun. And I'm gonna hopefully post some of that on Poshmark, but I really wanna revamp that this year. Maybe go thrifting like once a month, you know, just to have like a, a hard number of times that I wanna go. I think that's a lot easier to have a goal that says, I wanna do this X amount of times a month than like, oh, I just wanna like, go thrifting more. Okay, how often? You know, I think it's a lot more helpful to say I want to go thrifting once a month. Next, I want to revamp my social medias. I have not used social media other than like posting my YouTube videos. Whenever I have a new YouTube video, I'll post it on all my social medias. Other than that, I have not posted anything on social media in years. However, I have started to post on January 1st. I thought it was the perfect day to start. I have posted a few Instagram posts and stories. I also made a TikTok. <laughs> and have been posting some videos on there, which everything is linked down below, but I really want to revamp all of my social media, Instagram, I don't really use Twitter that much, so like I'm not really into Twitter, but Instagram, Snapchat, I've been posting on like my public story, what else, TikTok, and then Facebook I kind of just use for like my friends and family, I don't post like crazy things on there, but I really want to grow all of my, oh, my legs starting to hurt again, all of my other social media. So that is my plan for that is to just post, you know, every so often throughout the week, which I have been doing. So yeah, if you want to follow me, it's down below. I am starting from scratch on that. I deleted the like eight pictures that I had on Instagram from before the first and just started over. Next, I want to get 1000 subscribers on both of my YouTube channels. So this one and then my vlog channel, which again is linked down below. I have been doing YouTube for years and years now, but not really gaining any subscribers. I think I have under 300 on both channels, like under 300 on this and then under 300 
on the other one, not in total. I'm not doing it for the audience or for the views. I'm doing it because I love video and I love making videos. That's literally what my full-time job is, is editing videos. I'm just doing it to share my life because that's what I love to do. But after doing it for so long, I think it would be nice to grow my audience and possibly make a little money from these videos. That would be really nice as kind of like a bonus for, you know, something I love to do and getting paid for it. That would be the best outcome. My plan for that is honestly going with the social media revamp. I think that would bring a lot more people to my YouTube channels if I'm actively posting on all the different social medias and I'm like, you know, linking everything together. A thousand for the year I think is very doable, hopefully. That's only like 700 more. Hopefully I can do that. I'm really just slowly trying to revamp things like digital wise in my life. So that is another thing I'm trying to do. Oh, my phone is gonna die. And going with that, the next goal I have is one vlog a week and two videos for this lifestyle channel every month. So basically like six-ish videos a month, which is gonna be hard because I'm not used to posting that much, but I think it would be fun if I just vlog every so often and then make a few different videos for this channel, which I already have some plans of what videos I'm gonna do. Enough of all of the YouTube social media stuff. Moving on, I have four more goals that I have for. 2024. The first one is learn Spanish. Okay, I do not have a plan for this. Maybe Duolingo. I don't know. I have not even downloaded that. I don't have it. I don't know my plan for this. It would be really nice knowing at least like a little bit of Spanish. And I do know a little bit, but nothing that I could like talk to a native Spanish speaker. Like I, I would have no idea what they're saying. So yeah, learn Spanish, get a little bit better at that is my next goal. My third to last goal is I want to write the first draft of my book, which I don't think I've ever even talked about on here, but I started writing a book because I don't know, I just felt like it. So yeah, I think I started that like months ago and I have maybe two chapters done and I really want to write the rest of it this year for a first draft. So I think maybe like a chapter a month would be good. I don't know how long it's gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be that many chapters, but maybe just work on it, you know, like an hour a week or something, really not moving too fast on it, but throughout the year, slowly get to the end of that. So that is uh, my next goal. The next one's really funny. I want to start wearing my hats more. I have a lot of hats. You can kind of see some of them right here. I have another pile like next to that one, but I have so many hats, like at least 25, I would say, probably more than that, but I have a lot of hats and I never wear them. I don't know why I just forget about them. So I really want to start wearing them more. And my plan for that is Anytime I run outside, I'm gonna wear a hat because first of all, it can like get into my mind of like, okay, I'm running outside, like I'm putting a hat on. Kind of like the association, I guess, like outside running equals hat. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all of my goals and how I plan to achieve those goals. Maybe I'll make a video at the end of the year saying if I actually did it or not. So yeah, wish me luck. I got a lot going on and hopefully I can at least get some of them. That's my main goal is to hit some of my goals. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a great 2024 and I will talk to you guys in my next video.